Okay, lesson 5.3, sum and difference identities. We want to apply the identities for cosine, sine, and tangent of a difference or sum. Now, for the cosine of a sum or a difference, notice how it says u plus or minus v, and then there's a minus plus in the middle here. So basically, what that means is cosine of u plus v is cosine u cosine v minus sine u sine v. So if it's plus in here, it's minus here. If it's minus, then it's plus here. Okay. So it says find the exact value of cosine 15 without using a calculator. Okay, now what we would like to do is we'd like to write 15 degrees as the difference of two angles that I can easily find the cosine and sine of. Well, cosine 15 is the same as cosine of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. Okay, so here's what that means. All right, I have a minus inside, so when I use my formula, I have cosine 45 times cosine 30. Now, since it was minus inside, it's plus out here. Sine 45, sine 30. So, 45s and 30s and 60s. Those are all part of our special right triangles. Hopefully you guys have these kind of down now. If you don't, you probably want to start. Cosine 45, square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 30, Okay, square root of 3 over 2 plus sine 45, square root of 2 over 2, sine of 30, 1 half. Okay, multiply the fractions together. So I get radical 6 over 4, it's a 6, plus radical 2 over 4. Well, I really can't do anything with radical 6 plus radical 2, so I just kind of write it on top just like that okay that's all I can do with that okay so the idea there is we want to take the angle given and we want to break it down to either a sum or a difference of 30s 45s 60s and use our use our reference triangles in our unit circle to help us out there okay same thing here except for sine okay Except for sine, in this case, whatever sine goes inside is the same as it is outside. See how it's plus or minus there, here, and plus or minus here? So whatever the sine is in, same out. Okay, so they want us to prove these identities. Okay, now we proved identities in 5-2. Okay, so we want to take this, whoops, we want to take this, come on, we want to take this, we'll try it again. We want to take this left side and try to get it to be sine x. So, cosine pi over 2 minus x. Now, that's the same. Okay, if we go back, okay, cosine of uh, a difference. So it's a minus inside, so it's a plus on the outside. So, cosine pi over 2 cosine x okay plus sine pi over 2 sine x now the cosine of pi over 2 is 0 times cosine x plus sine of pi over 2 is 1 times sine x so 0 times cosine x is 0 plus 1 sine x. Well, that's just sine x, which is the right side. So that's a problem very similar to 5.2. Now, part b, now we have to do the sine. So we want to make this sine pi over 2 minus x into that. So for the sine, okay, for the sine of a difference, okay, whatever the sine is inside, it is outside. So we have sine pi over 2, okay, 
actually, hang on a second here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to use this formula. Okay, sine of a sum or a difference. So we have sine u times cosine v. So that's sine pi over 2 cosine x. Minus, okay, now what does it say? Cosine u times sine v. So cosine pi over 2 sine x. Now, simplifying that, sine of pi over 2 is 1 times cosine x minus cosine of pi over 2 is 0 times sine x. Well, that just cancels out, and then 1 times cosine x is cosine x, which is the right side. Okay, So we're just using the um, sine and cosine of a difference or a sum. Okay. Now it says write each of the following expressions as the sine or cosine of an angle. Now, for part A, okay, since there's a sine and cosine in each part of it, that means we're doing a sine of a sum. So, it's sine 22 plus 13. So this would be the sine of 35. And that's all they want, because it says write each of the following expressions as the sine or cosine. So it's the sine of 35. So we're kind of going in reverse. We have two cosines and two sines. Okay, So that means we're doing a cosine. Now, since that's positive, remember with the cosine, we have to do the opposite. So it's cosine of pi over 3. Okay minus pi over 4. Okay, So when I subtract those, I get cosine of pi over 12. Okay, Use common denominators, guys. I didn't really go over it, but I'll do it here. Okay, You get common denominators, 4 pi minus 3 pi is 1 pi. Okay, now, here's the thing. we have two sines and two cosines. Now, the cosine of a difference, the cosines come first. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch the terms. Okay, we're going to switch the terms. Sorry for my scribble. Then we're going to factor out a negative one. So basically all we're doing is changing the signs. Oh my goodness, I'm out of room. Okay. Now, what that really means is I have negative cosine. Since that's a plus, okay, or excuse me, that's a minus, we have a plus on the inside, x plus 2x. So our final answer is negative cosine 3x. So just by looking at A, B, and C, we have to be able to identify whether it's a sine of a difference or sum or a cosine of a sum or a difference. Okay? Tangent of a difference or sum. Okay? So there's our tangent. Okay? Those are our formulas for tangent. Now, it says to prove that the tangent of theta minus 3 pi over 2 equals negative cotangent. So again, we're proving something. So this is just like um, 5, 2. So we, why does that keep happening? We want to get this to be this. Okay, so I go back. It's the tangent of a difference. So we're going to use this. So let's see. We're going to have, well, let's see. Hmm, wait a minute. Hmm. This would be very interesting. I don't know that we can use all tangents because 
This would be tangent theta minus tangent of 3 pi over 2. But the tangent of 3 pi over 2 is sine over cosine, so that would be negative 1 divided by 0, so that would be undefined. Hmm. So we can't use this particular formula. Hmm. So now you're saying, well, now what? Well, what does tangent, what is tangent? Tangent is sine over cosine. So what we're going to do, this is inter very interesting. We're going to do the sine of theta minus 3 pi over 2 divided by the cosine of theta minus 3 pi over 2. Now, we can do those, okay? So we're going to have a big honking fraction, okay? And I can't draw a straight line. That's terrible. That's insulting to straight lines. Here we go. All right, so we use our sine of a difference. So that's sine theta cosine 3 pi over 2 minus cosine theta sine 3 pi over 2. That's a pi. Over, now our cosine of a difference. So I have cosine theta cosine 3 pi over 2 plus, remember, if it's a difference for cosine, you have to switch the sine. Sine theta sine 3 pi over 2. Alright, let's simplify. Cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0, so that cancels that out. Sine 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. Okay, it's 270. So I have negative cosine theta times negative 1. So I have positive cosine theta on top. Okay, on the bottom. Cosine 3 pi over 2. We already know that's 0, so that cancels that out. Okay, plus sine theta sine 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So, positive sine theta times negative 1 is negative sine theta. But cosine over sine is what? Well, sine over cosine is tangent. Cosine over sine is cotangent. And since it's negative, it's negative cotangent theta. Which, oh, looky here, is the right side. Okay? Now, normally you would be able to use those two formulas, but because of the nature of this problem, the 3 pi over 2 makes it impossible. Okay, So, in this case, we had to break it down to our sine and cosine. Okay, Now, a lot of you are going to be like, well, how do you know to do that? Well, you know how to do it, you know how to do that because if you go to this formula and you start plugging in the terms and you get to tangent of 3 pi over 2, you're going to get undefined and you're going to go, okay, well, I can't do it that way. So how do I make it so I can get it to where I need it to be? Change tangent to sine over cosine. Okay? And again, with practice, we'll be okay. All right? So that's 5, 3.